Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subaraj. In this session, we can view JavaScript introductory part. What is JavaScript? JavaScript related features, who developed that? And what is exact name of the JavaScript? The syntax of the JavaScript. JavaScript is weekly typed programming. JavaScript originally, original name is live script. We are calling as a live script. It is completely developed based on C language syntaxes. Live script developed in Netscape Corporation in 1990s. In 1995, Braden H, there is a popular scientist from Netscape Corporation. He renamed Live Script to JavaScript. So, if you are going to view JavaScript syntax, it is very close to C languages, C language syntaxes. JavaScript official name is ECMAScript, we are calling as ECMA, European Computer Manufacturers Association. It is one kind of international organization. There are the several features of JS. Already in last video session, I spoke about script advantages. Same almost earlier. Completely client side, any information you can track with the help of JS. Generating HTML code, HTML, CSS itself static. With the help of JavaScript, we are making dynamic. JavaScript can live by itself. JavaScript is executed on the client side. I think already I said that one. It is a browser level. So, what is a client? Where browser existed, that is called a client. Make your web pages responsive. In the responsive, in the sense, dynamic here. Responsive, in the sense, not bootstrap kind of features. Create cookies, validated applications. For example, HTML forms are there. Text boxes, password, checkbox, radio button, like this. You want to validate those, you can use, you can use JavaScript. And giving user, user, giving the user more control over the browser. Yes, you want to apply the more controls, means any action you need to perform on the web page, JavaScript is providing to us that. Supporting for objects, there are the several objects available. JavaScript is object based programming, object oriented programming also. In upcoming days, we can see that one practically. So, these are the several features of JavaScript. Now, we will go to practically syntax is what exactly JavaScript. Let me write syntax and once we are going to JavaScript level, script tag type is equal to text or javascript language equal to javascript and several statements you can write scripts statements now statements almost all these are the things existed here now these all the things existed now sometimes we can write like this also because type is an optional attribute now script this is also perfect one. So, syntax 1 and syntax 2 both you can observe. Here script is a tag, type is an attribute, language is an attribute. This we are calling as MIME types actually in live environment. So, texture JavaScript is calling as parameter, it is not compulsory parameters. So, this is an optional, this is an optional. That is the reason syntax 2 I made very clearly here. It is a weekly typed programming. If you are writing without semicolon also, it is correct. So, syntactically JavaScript, we can write the above one or below one. Any one is okay. At the same time, JavaScript is case sensitive. Even though you can write here capital letters. Because why you are writing capital letters here means it is a HTML. HTML you can write in upper case, lower case, any case, no problem. Script is not JavaScript. This is the part is JavaScript. This part is HTML. This part is HTML. So, HTML can be upper case as well as lower case, no issue. So, script we can write in upper case as well as lower case. But a script inside, whatever the keywords you are implementing, these keywords must be in lower case. So, this is a small syntax of the JavaScript. And now we can see javascript example practically how looks like that now come down to javascript level and once you are removing the syntax environment first script i removed now inside i am writing information 
and within the head section you can write within the body section also we can write no issue and if you want you can you can maintain doc type also here and doc type html it, it indicates version information already explained and now i am calling document dot document dot write welcome to welcome to javascript welcome to javascript once i am going to write that it is an object it is a method it is what i am going to display on the web page statement ends not compulsory optional and optional and right now this simple program i am saving with save with dot js extension correct but right now i am saving with dot html or htm extension i am saving like this i am running first why not dot js if you ask the question dot js file never contains any tag related things js file contains only javascript so that means here tags available that is a reason html now i saved that and i am running with any web browser now just i am going to my browser right click and refresh that perfect execution welcome to javascript now this is javascript information simply displayed one statement for example i want to display for example another statement like i said welcome to naresh technologies naresh it once you save that you can you can close and open single quotes right and if you are going to run on your web page it is running so welcome to javascript welcome to naresh it but there is no space between that so whenever you required a space between two lines or two statements we are using a simple that is called ln generally ln means we are thinking next line of course happened that one but ln is nothing but it is providing a space between two lines and it is separating now observe now it is providing or not perfectly provided now you want to display that one in the next line you can use actually pre pre why we should use pre pre and whenever you are using pre pre formatted text the output displaying in two lines welcome to javascript welcome to naresh it otherwise you can use okay i don't want a pre formatted text i need but two lines means you can use br tag yes you people are waiting for that i know that br self close now if i refresh it utter flap yes there is no output what is the reason behind that a tag must not be used directly in the script environment area a tag is different tag is from html javascript is a programming language how can you use a markup language inside programming so there is a syntax rule available what exactly the syntax rule and you must follow document dot write and close yes this is a perfect syntax so whenever you are using a markup language inside javascript you can tell to in javascript way directly you must not use any tag here even though you can come down for example same break you want to use yes you can use like this also no issue yes refresh perfect where i used correctly observe the area used inside double quotation i used for example okay now i don't want that i want to use a tag inside of this so h1 means you are implementing html tags inside scripting come and refresh so i hope you got how to use html tags inside the script so this is the way simply effectively we can implement these things now i want to apply some kind of styles even here style is equal to color blue simple i closed that and i am refreshing perfect see here html existed 
JavaScript existed and style means CSS also used. If you use these three things, what we are calling, you know, DHTML, Dynamic Hypertext Markup Language. DHTML is one umbrella term where collection of technologies together we are using. Maybe in another video session, I will discuss very clearly about that. Now, we can see, for example, I want to apply font family Tahoma and I want to refresh. Perfect. Now, I want to apply something font size. I want to decrease. I want to increase. All are possible here. With the help of style attribute, I implemented that. Now, if you are going inside a little bit, JavaScript here and just the confuse you can see here. Here double quotation, here double quotation existed. Here single quotation existed, here single quotation existed. Remember in JavaScript, a double quotation inside single quotation directly we can use. Single quotation inside double quotation directly we can use. But if I use double quotation inside double quotation, for example, now total example out. Syntactically, we made a mistake. Why actually it is a syntactical mistake? Now, inside JavaScript interpreter, mechanically it is asking, my dear programmer, your string started from here, or here, or here, like that it is asking us, it is confusing. That means, double quotation used multiple times, where is starting, where is ending, confuse. In that situation, you must use double inside single, or you can use here perfect purpose, sequences also. Thank you for watching my videos. For more videos, please log on youtube.com slash Naresh IT.